The final Saturday at Saratoga features the Woodward, or the uh, Rachel Alexandra Challenge. Uh, it's my belief that uh, Rachel Alexandra is uh, as close to unbeatable as horses get. Uh, I'm not going to come at you with some, uh, some wild and crazy upset scenario. Uh, she is obviously who she is. Yes, this is the biggest challenge she's ever had, facing older uh, males. But the handicap division is neither deep nor strong this year. And uh, even if it were, it uh, might not be too much of a challenge for her. The, the only uh, question I, I think that you can have, and uh, it's not much of a question, is how the pace scenario plays out. That's often uh, quite important. Uh, there is speed in here. There's speed outside of her. She will feel a little early pressure. Uh, I, I think she will do what she does with uh, early pressure in all her other races and simply dismiss it. Uh, she goes through the turn and, and heads for home. Uh, I, I can't imagine uh, what would happen for her to, to not do that. But let's just say she has an off race. Let's just say something goes wrong. She has uh, traffic problems or breaks poorly or, or, or has an off day. Uh, who could win the race other than her? I think there are two. Uh, it's a bird. Has had uh, good results uh, on the Midwest circuit earlier this year. Uh, he cuts back from a 10 furlong race. I, I don't feel that he really... Uh, Thrives at that distance. He did tire late, uh, so he's getting back to his his uh, preferred distances. Uh, eight and a half to nine furlongs is about his wheelhouse, and uh, he's going to get a good trip. He's a stalker or a presser, so he's not going to be out of it. Uh, for instance, a horse that I like, Macho, again uh, is a deep closer, and I don't see any scenario under which that's going to be an advantage. But it's a bird. Will be right there. He, he is unproven on this level. Yes, he's never uh, never raced in a grade one. He's been successful in, in grade two and three races. Uh, but if you take Rachel Alexandra for, for purposes, of, purposes of argument out of the out of the picture here, certainly capable of winning this. Uh, Marty Wolfson gets uh, J.P. Lepalu. Uh They are a tremendous combo. Wolfson wins at a very high rate, and the two of them win at an even higher rate. Uh, it's about as good a package as you can get in this race uh, outside of the big girl. Uh, the other horse that I like is Past the Point. Uh, if you remember last year's Woodward, uh, he did provide something of a challenge for Curlin. Uh, fought him for a while, uh, uh, entering the last furlong, and wasn't beaten that much in what was essentially a prep race for, for Curlin. Uh, but uh, Past the Point does have some quality. Um, he looked poor this winter, but that was because he was racing on synthetic. He really is a dirt horse. Uh, he, he ran one return race here, a seven furlong race, where he, he won stylishly, drawing off at the end. Those were allowance horses, but he is primed for a forward move. And if we're going with this theory that, you know, the, we can take Rachel Alexandra out of the equation, um... I see no reason why past the point who has proven his quality shouldn't be able to uh, to get there. Uh, he has been working well. He likes this track, and uh, it's a, he, he's a pretty good package. Um, but I am not picking against Rachel Alexander.